Hey guys, it's Tech for Life here, and I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I decided to make one on this pretty old product, but it's the Nike Plus iPod. Yesterday I was looking for some shoes, and I got um, the Nike Shocks. They have the Nike and the Plus, which is Nike Plus iPod. So, what I found out is that I bought these shoes at an outlet, so they're like 80 bucks, and then I got um, the Nike Plus sensor for 20 bucks for my iPod Touch. So I'll show a, um, a video on how to configure it and calibrate your sensor with your, your iPod, and then there will be another video on the Mac, and it'll explain the Nike Plus website. So the first thing you have a sleeve which houses the Nike Plus iPod sensor in my hand. It's really a small product and I will show you that in my shoe. And then the other things you get in the box would be a warranty with like tons and tons of different languages. And the last thing is another manual, which is explains how you calibrate it and you know how to start it and stuff like that. So yeah, I read through this a little bit and it was really helpful. So go ahead and put this away. So under the shoes, um not only do you have to buy the Nike shoes that do say the Nike Plus, you could use any type of shoe. Like, um, you don't have to have the little Nike Plus iPod logo on it. You could, if you really wanted to, you could buy the sensor and you could tuck it under some laces on another running shoe you have. Like this. And then run with it. It's not just it's not going to be as accurate as it would if it was in the shoe. So, I'll show you how to install it in the shoe if you do get the Nike Plus shoes. So, it's really pretty easy is I have the left shoe and it has um the Nike Plus symbol in there. And the right one doesn't. So, you have to put it in the left. And to do this, all you have to do is take out the sole, so the inner part of the shoe, and then you can see that there's like the gray divot. Um, that's actually a piece of foam, and you can go ahead and take that out. It's shaped like the Nike Plus. And the first time I did it, I put it in the shoe this way, where both of the logos were facing me. But it wasn't locked in there all the way. So you want the both of the logos to face the toe end of your shoe. And all you gotta do, put it in there and it'll click. There you go. And now it's it's in there and it's totally flush with the um the ridges of the shoe. And then all you gotta do is put the sole back in and you're ready to go. So installing it's really easy. And obviously to take it back out, it's a little bit harder. Take out the sole. And then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna put pressure on one side of the sensor and it'll pop out. It just takes a little while. Or dig your nail in there. And it pops right out. Alright, so I definitely would recommend this to any type of runners. Or just to have it, just to track your progress, even if you do walk or run. Um, like I said, you can't really feel it in the shoe, it's totally flush.